Okay. Hi! Gagawa ko ako ng vlog for the sake of information para sa mga taong gustong magpadala ng gamit dito sa Pilipinas. And first of all, you have to do a lot of homework. But I'm gonna give you the ideas like sa aking experience. And I'm telling you, it's complicado siya. A lot of paperwork when your items or your container arrive dito sa Pilipinas, you think na ganun ganun lang. No, it's not easy. Uh, you need to be uh, very equipped sa documents mo. Um, all the necessary na documents. And you also need to have a custom broker dito sa Pilipinas. I'm also going to give you yung custom broker na nag-assist sa akin. Few of them, I say maybe one or two of them, did could not take my case. Okay, so it's not all the custom broker dito are capable of doing their job. Well, maybe some of them, but atong ibibigay ko, they were able to expedite my needs. Kasi alam mo na mga, ba mga balikbayan. Uh, minimal lang yung time spent natin dito sa Pilipinas kasi may mga trabaho tayo at obligasyon sa ibang pansa. So, let me start off by um, parang ano lang, no? Tony Talk Show. Kaso lang wala akong guest. Yun yung guest. Anyway, so keep it down guys kasi gumagawa ko ng vlog para sa information ng mga Pilipino ang gustong magpadala ng kanilang gamit pa uwi dito sa Pilipinas. Lahat, uh, maraming mga vlog akong nakita. Cause ako yung tipong tao na I have to do my research before doing my own, um, doing my own mounting. Own, mo own, own moves. Ano ba yan? Nagubulo na. Magtagalog na nga lang tayo. O kaya Ilocano, pwede pa. Pero, okay. Kunwari taglish na lang, no? <laughs> ano ba yan? So, uh, hindi ako masyadong nakatingin sa lens. Ito pala yung dapat kong titignan. Sensya na. Okay, bago lang sa ano. I'm just doing this for the information of uh, mga Pilipino. Yun nga. So, okay. Wala ko yung paper ko kasi nandito pa rin ako sa Boracay. Woohoo! Nag- uh, nag-enjoy. Pero at the same time, very hectic. You have to be very wise sa phone. Sending messages, sending email, attaching photos. You have to have yung ganun na galing. I don't know how to say it. So, uh, ako, I came in contact with uh, iCargo Canada. This is in Lachine, Quebec, Canada, where we live. I took someone that's close to our house to do the um, container. So, ipapakita ko na, insert ko na lang yung mga videos. At the same time, I think I'm talking. Will I be able to do that? Anyway, yeah. So we rented this 20-foot container, and the price was about five thousand. Five thousand. And then, uh, on top of the five thousand, meron ka pang additional cost na mga add-ons cost nila kasi. Uh, pag nasa shipping na siya, may mga, ano eh, may mga uh, ibang prices na kailangan i-add. We had Hey Pag Lloyd. I think isa siya sa pinakamura din dito sa Pilipinas daw. Uh, for uh, shipping company na nag-assist sa amin. Um, I also had to work with Ben Line company. And the moment you have all your documents, yung shipping number mo, all those they will assist you anyway ipapakita paid so much money for this container so much talaga <laughs> yeah almost half a million talaga siya peso so if you want to bring your whole house do uh, ano siya i ang tawag do a massive research yeah do a massive research because it's gonna consume your energy oh oh kailangan buong malaman ng pasikot sikot and me i actually i thought i knew i knew i knew the basic no i knew the basic and i had a pile of all the itemized na gamit namin kung ano yung mga nasa 
So this is just one one fourth of the house na pinadala namin. The couch, the day bed, that cush, uh, that chair there, yung red, yung carpet na yan, yan na padala rin. Even yung mga, yan, that chair, the red chair, the yellow chair, yung chair na yan, yung mga, all of that you see na padala, except yung curtains, except that white couch there na natira rin. All those cushions, all kung saan yung hinihiga ni Rosie, all those, uh, hindi ko alam kung ano yan, yung parang carpet na colored or whatever. All uh, picture frames. Uh, so, yung mga boxes, we had about 47 boxes inside. And, and yes, and you need a lot of connections. So, okay, what you need? You need for government, you need to be dual, okay? Para makaano kayo dun sa 350,000 Ano ba dun? Tawag dun? Benefits at our credits? Ano? Yeah, 350,000 pesos coming uh, para sa Bureau of Custom. And this is given to the Balikbayan people who will live here and retire here. And you also need... Uh, uh, ano yan? You need to have your dual. You need to have your tin. Hindi nila sinabi sa akin to. I only knew it nung meron na akong custom broker. And yung gusto broker namin, uh, they were excellent also, but the only glitch was they have to say it in in advance. Na etong kailangan mo, etong kailangan mo. Para in one day, I'm, I could have done all of those. I need a ten card. You can only take. Makukuha mo na yun in one day. So that's like your identification tax taxable identification number. That's for the government uh, bureau of customs. Okay, they need that to process your your file and so you need a 10 you need your passport you need an identification if you have philippine passport it's better but i had my dual citizenship um papers so that's okay and the moment kung meron pa kung meron kang binabaya kung meron kang binayaran ng dolyar doon sa canada that which we had to pay five thousand plus up front and then the add-ons were like almost another expense of 2k so it's 7,000 Canadian and then nung pagdating na dito sa Maynila dun sa custom broker namin they demanded us 250,000 that's to pesos that's to process our documentation and and on my case na expedite siya kasi yung demorage it's it's very high it's very costly kaya when you're still abroad, make sure you have your custom broker process the paper, process your files, process all the needs na kailangan nila para pagdating dito sa Pilipinas, madali na lang na ganun para iwas sa demorage. Because you only have, we only had five days free, not even seven, five days free. And then I think nagstay siya more than two weeks. And so, in two weeks na yun, I think it cost us like almost 37,000 sa demorage. Uh, I'm gonna try to post. Um, so yeah, so 250,000 up front. And since ako, I had my aunt who is very uh, good and very wise. I had to do a special power of attorney para makakuha siya ng card ng tin number ko because I wasn't I wasn't anywhere near uh, a BIR office. So ginawa niya yon. So background on boy. So she was able to do that for me and then the moment one day lang yun makukuha mo agad and then i pa process na yun sa BIR a B B BOC Bureau of Custom and then the moment they have that and you pay the demorage at saka yung ano man yung ano nang kailangan ng shipping we had to pay I think about 57,000 aside sa 57 uh, 250,000 pesos so it accumulates Wala pa dyan yung transportation. So, the moment na ma-scan na ang BOC yung container mo, the moment na ma-scan na nila yon, good for release na yan. Now, that container has to go sa isang lote na bakante to do a transportation. Kasi I don't think, sabi nila, as per sa inform nila sa akin dun sa custom broker namin na the container cannot itself go to the province. Kasi if it was, it would cost millions of peso. Or millions of peso. So what we did is I contacted my aunt who have a contact naman ng para sa transportation and trucking. There goes my little guy. Bye-bye. There's a dentist out there. Come here. So yeah. Ah, takot sa dentist. So 
So we had yung transportation, the, the car had to go to, uh, the container had to go to Pampanga, say some empty lot, and then they had their truck there. Now, which is tomorrow, pupun namin Pampanga, and we're gonna empty the container with manpower, kung sino man yung mga trabahador na pwede makatulong sa amin. Extra expense on the truck, unloading container, loading through the truck sa gamit namin na pupunta sa probinsya namin, which is Cagayan Valley. So, that's like completely sa norte. Um, and on top of that, may typhoon pa. So, hopefully, magsusubside na lahat ng mga ano dyan, obstacles. So, sana wala mga debris kagaya ng mga landslide or whatever. So, hopefully and finger cross. So, I'm gonna put on insert insert yung mga pictures in between this little blog oh 10 minutes na okay tama na parang thinking pinoy lang uh, ano quick question and answer no net magkano yung pinagawa mo yung hair ko ay hair mo eto po ano local mga gumawa nito 300 pesos dito sa Boracay sabi ng crimson ano sa beach actually <laughs> Two days ko na ito, hindi pinapaliguan. Oh my gosh, I need to put some gel. Wala pa rin nipreserve ko talaga siya. Okay, last question. Masaya ka ba? Masayang masaya na hindi. Kasi hindi pa tapos, hindi pa wala pa yung container sa probinsya. So anyway, thank you for watching. Feeling ano lang. Feeling tingin king Pinoy epi. Okay, so hopefully na this will help the people who wants to bring containers sa Pilipinas. Bye, mabuhay. Thank you for also the custom broker. I insert ko sila yung information nila. Bye, God bless all. Here comes our 20 feet. That's the container going to the Philippines. I think you have to slide it up. Ah, marunong yan kasi ganyan yung dati. Lang sa work. So, basta na nga ito gano. So, mga dati agdan, may kabilit. Dito ang nagisip, bro? Ah, ma, pwede mo nang ano, linisin muna. Okay. Ala, hindi. Tingnan nga natin. Ala, 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 basa. I-open mo lang para mag-ano yung singaw. Oo, i-open natin. Sanjay! Mama! Sanjay, stay, ane. Pag-ano natin. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Okay, so this is where you see now we are filling up the um, container with boxes. Yan yung 47 boxes namin na ganyan na size. So we fill that up first, completely in the back. And then afterwards, lalagay ng paleta para, you know, since pupunta sa shipping, it can, you know, it's a big boat, mga barkong ano talaga. So baka pumasok ang tubig. So anyway, so we had those paletas also. Pinuno namin talaga yan. Wala kaming pinatawad. As in, yan. Ako dyan. Kala mo may ginagawa. Wala naman. Marami pa. Maluwang pa sa loob. Rosie! Rosie! <laughs> There's a glove there. Oh, yeah. More there, I'm not going to this much. I'm looking for something. I think I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get Wow. 
Okay, ito na po ang mga last na ganap. Talagay na yan. Last na yan. Sobrang punong-punong puno. Yung ladoy din, lalagay yan. Pa, nag-itali. Pa, nag-itali.